A pair of twin brothers have a stark warning for everyone. They were recently hospitalized with COVID-19 and weren't vaccinated. Today, they wish they could turn back time. The Harold twins share their story of regret and their road to recovery. It's been 30 days since identical twin brothers Shane and Sean Harrell have seen each other in person. They were finally reunited on their birthday. But the men share more than just a birthday. They share a business, a hospital stay, and both tested positive for COVID-19. He was sick for six days and it knocked me down for a month. Sean says he started feeling sick after a trip to Las Vegas with his wife. I get on the tow truck and I let out this cough and my brother was like, whoa, what was that? I'm, I was a COVID cough if I ever heard one. And I'm like, what? Whatever, you know, went about my day. The father of three later got a call from his wife saying she didn't feel well either. Turns out I did have COVID and I transferred it to my brother. Sean was admitted to Community Regional Medical Center when his oxygen levels got so low it was hard to breathe. He was rushed to the intensive care unit. I had a mini stroke. And so uh, it caused numbness in my arm. Uh, I'm, I lost sensation. His twin soon followed with Shane being admitted to Community Regional four days later. Both men were unvaccinated. Shane's wife caught the virus too, but he says she was vaccinated and only had a cough. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just a cold. I had a cough. Well, that's fine. That was you. But there's other people that wish they had a cough. They died. I was an anti-vaccine. You know, I'm not getting this shot. I don't know what's in it. I'm not I'm not putting something in my body that I don't know what it's, what's in it. Um, going through what I went through, uh, I've been in the hospital for 30 days. Uh, I, I wish I would have got the vaccine. The brothers are still recuperating at home. I, I had to get five blood transfusions. Basically, I, I, I have to learn how to walk again. I have to learn how to, I, I, I have numbness in my arm. I have to learn how to use my arm again, all because I didn't get this vaccine. Today, they celebrate life and reflect back to all they've been through in the last month. The hardest part of this whole ordeal was uh, seeing my brother incubating uh, with every tube going everywhere possible and trying to have a conversation. It was probably the worst thing that I've ever seen having to deal with that. You know, coming from a twin brother that we've always been so close and grown up together, it was it was real hard and tough to see and deal with. It was a very close call. Uh, my, my kids almost didn't have a dad. The men say they will get the vaccine as soon as their doctor says it's okay to do so. And they're eternally grateful to the medical staff at Community Regional. I would love, love, love to thank the hospital staff here. The care that we've got was awesome everybody more than awesome yeah it was just the i can't even explain it the workers are angels it was so good to have them it takes an amazing person to do what they do yeah. I, I mean it's, it's phenomenal you know they're my heroes for more information on COVID-19 vaccines and where you can get yours visit myturn.ca.gov